ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते दोस्तों टुडे वी विल डू चैप्टर टू ऑफ क्लास नाइन एनसीआरटी सीबीएसई मैथ आज हम क्लास नाइन के लिए सेकंड चैप्टर पॉलिनोमियल्स करेंगे मैथ में जो सीबीएसई करिकुलम है ये आपकी एनसीआरटी की टेक्स्ट बुक में चैप्टर नंबर टू है अगर आप देखेंगे तो पहले शुरू शुरू करते हैं पॉलिनोमियल्स का मतलब ठीक है और फिर हम थोड़े मीनिंग पे जाएंगे और उसके बाद क्वेश्चंस सो फर्स्ट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट लेट्स लर्न दीज एल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटीज दीज आइडेंटिटीज आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एज ए यूज एवरी वेयर थ्रू आउट द चैप्टर देर आर थ्री ऑफ दीज आइडेंटिटीज फर्स्ट आई विल राइट ए प्लस बी सो लेट देर बी टू नंबर्स टू नंबर्स ए एंड बी and they both are greater than 0 they are positive integers and they greater than 0 so first is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab right you must have learned this in lower classes similarly a minus b the whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab Please make a note of this. This is very important throughout the chapter. One more thing is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Now, some of you may be thinking that these are the identities. Are they always like that, or can they be proven? इनको prove करना है हमें मतलब जरूरत तो है नहीं prove करने के लिए लेकिन मैं आपको ये third वाली जो है आपको दिखा देता हूँ. Let me show you this. One, how it's done. So if you just open this up, this multiplied by this, and this multiplied by this, and this multiplied by this, and this multiplied by this, this is how we do multiplication of two expressions. These are two expressions in the brackets, and you have to multiply them. So what will you get? We get a square minus a b plus a b minus b square, and this this cut. What is remaining? A square minus b square, which is what we started with. So this is the proof of this identity that जो हम लिख रहे हैं सही है कि गलत. ठीक है. तो ये जल्दी से note कर लीजिए. ठीक है. अब हम polynomial का मतलब समझते हैं. Polynomials in one variable शुरू करते हैं. Variable कुछ भी हो सकता है. कोई भी letter हो सकता है. जैसे x या फिर y या फिर z या फिर कुछ भी a b कुछ भी ले सकते हो ये 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 इसे क्या कहते हैं वेरिएबल ठीक है दिस इज कॉल्ड अ वेरिएबल दिस वेरिएबल इज यूज इन पॉलिनोमियल अ पॉलिनोमियल सजेस अ टाइप ऑफ एल्जिब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एल्जिब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन ये आपका चैप्टर भी था Expressions, तो इट जस्ट एन एक्स वे ऑफ राइटिंग हमने एक वर्ड कॉइन किया है पॉलिनोमियल है ना और इस चैप्टर में हम सीखेंगे रिमाइंडर थियरम और जो है हमारा रिमाइंडर थियरम रिमाइंडर थियरम नोट कर लीजिए प्लीज नोट दिस डाउन व्हाट विल बी स्टडिंग दिस चैप्टर एंड द फैक्ट थियरम एज पर योर Syllabus, CBS syllabus, right? Now there's a way of writing this expression. ठीक है. Let me give a good example. एक example में मैं आपको समझाता हूँ variable क्या है और कैसे करते हैं. एक square मान लो. ठीक है. जैसे मेरे पास square है a b. Sorry, एक मिनट. a b c and d. All right. And this is a square, so let the each side be equal to let's say five centimeter, five, five, five. They all in centimeter. So if I have to find the area of the square, area is equal to what? Product of the sides, five into five, twenty-five centimeter square, right? This is the area. Now I ask you to find the perimeter. If this is given to you, this question is given to you. You will add this. You will write five plus five plus five plus five. What is it? Can I write it as four times five because you have added five five times? This is also written as 
five plus five plus five plus five four times you did right is equal to 20 centimeter the unit is just centimeter the unit is centimeter square because i multiplied centimeter into centimeter now if i were just to replace this five centimeter with a variable now what is this variable now let's understand this this is very crucial this is very crucial so i'll just remove this five just quickly remove this five simply i will just write x x x x now you've already seen this question and you can say that x is equal to five centimeter you can say that x five centimeter but in many questions you will not know now the question is to find the area find the area now you will know the area of the formula means side square 5 into 5 this is what I was thinking so here you will put x in the place of 5 so x into x what is the answer? x square centimeter square this unit is your unit so what have we done in this chapter or in this chapter or in this chapter what have we done in this chapter or in this chapter example we have replaced the number or a constant 5 with a variable which is x this is this is how we're going to write in the next questions this is how we're going to write math algebra is expressed algebra likha jati hai x y z go be variable go be letter ki form mein likhi jati algebra to koi aapko bata hai ki area x square hai aur kya tha hai ki bhai x ki value x side ki value 3 cm rakh do so, you can remove the area that the area is x squared. So, I'll square 3 and I'll get 9 cm squared. Now, perimeter we all know it is 4 times side equals 4x. I can write it as a centimeter. So, if you have x 3 cm, then the perimeter area is this. What will be the perimeter? 4 into 3, 12 cm. This is very easy, but this is very important to understand that we are only doing the side and replacing the side's value with one variable, one letter x, y, z. So now we can quickly begin with expressions or polynomials with x, y, z. Okay, now let's quickly begin. Right. Now we will discuss what is the degree, degree of polynomial. Degree mein underline kar diya degree of polynomial. Now what is this degree? Now you know x, y, z can happen. Now take an expression. You know what the expression is. Expressing the variables. So just take an expression. x plus y. Okay, let's leave y. We are doing this in one variable. x plus 5 is equal to 7. This is your equation. Okay. Now I can write this question. I can write this question. Wait a minute. X is equal to 1 plus 5 is equal to 7. Why did I write 1? X is 1. X is equal to 1. X is equal to 1. And what is x square? X into x. X cube is x into x. X cube is x into x. X into x. X cube is x into x. X into x. Three times. Two times. One time. So degree. The meaning of degree is the highest power of the variable. So in this polynomial, in this expression, what is the highest power? The highest power is 1. So the degree of this particular equation is 1. Because what's the highest power of the variable? Variable came up with unknown. You do not know. Unknown. Value nahi pata hai. Uski power check karo. Check that power. You will get 1 over here. So that's the highest power of the variable. That's the degree of the polynomial. So now you know what a degree is. So now let's go on to a another question of this degree, right? Now the question is x square plus x plus five. Let's say is equal to twenty-five. You have twenty-five. Show the x plus x square plus x is equal to five. Now its power will be what? Either see, either two power is and either one power is, right? So. 2 is greater than 1. So the highest power check can be highest. What is the highest power? And that answer is 2. So 2 is the degree of this polynomial. This is a polynomial. So that's the degree. Now let's do some particular examples on this. Find the degree. Find. 
डिग्री निकालनी हमें ठीक है सो दिस विल फाइंड द डिग्री ऑफ दिस वन x to the power 5 minus x to the power 4 plus x to the power cube plus 3 ठीक है इधर क्या-क्या है 5 है 4 है 3 है तो कौन सी लार्जेस्ट 5 है सो द डिग्री इज इक्वल टू 5 सेकंड करते हैं अब 2 minus y7 plus y4 minus y square कुछ मैंने क्या बताया था वेरिएबल के भी एक्स वाई जी ए बी सी कोई भी लेटर होता है तो अब लेटर देखेंगे इधर सेवन सबसे ज्यादा है तो सेवन होगा आंसर ठीक है अब मैं क्वेश्चन देता हूं एक्स एट प्लस अच्छा नहीं एक मिनट अगर आपको बस दिया हुआ एक कॉन्सेंट दिया होगा टू ये क्वेश्चन आपका क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू है अब इसकी बोले फाइन द डिग्री है ना तो मैं इसको कैसे लिख सकता हूँ कंज्यूम कर सकता हूं मैं मैं इसको ऐसे लिख सकता हूं इक्वल टू टू एक्स एस टू पावर जीरो क्यों लिख सकता हूं जीरो बिकॉज एक्स एस टू पावर जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन एनी थिंग रेस टू पावर जीरो इज इक्वल वन टू रेस टू पावर जीरो इज वन थ्री टू पावर जीरो इज वन या अपने एक्सपोनेंट में सीखा होगा फोर एस पावर वन जीरो इज वन कुछ भी रेस टू पावर जीरो है वो वन देता है तो टू इंटू वन क्या होता है टू इंटू वन टू ही होता है इज इक्वल टू टू सो लिव लाइक दिस सो वॉट विल बी द हाइस्ट डिग्री Degree of this polynomial would be zero. Always check the variable, the the unknown's power. That is equal to the degree of the polynomial. Do not check the constant. ये constant है. इसकी value मत check करो. Do not check that. ये हमारे degree है. ठीक है. और इसको कैसे भी कह सकते हैं. The degree of a non-zero constant polynomial is zero. क्या लिखा है? Non-zero constant. Non-zero constant. कांस्टेंट को बताया था कोई भी नंबर हो सकता है जैसे जिस बीच में नो वेरिएबल इज देयर एंड नॉन जीरो बिकॉज़ दिस इज नॉट जीरो 1 2 3 -1 -4 5 6 6 कुछ भी ले सकते हो नॉन जीरो मतलब जीरो नहीं होना चाहिए ठीक है दिस इज और ये आप याद रख लो डिग्री ऑफ नॉन जीरो कांस्टेंट इज जीरो अब यहां को प्रूव भी कर दे क्यों जीरो है ठीक है आई प्रूव दैट एज़ वेल नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन Do an exercise. All right. अब हम सीखेंगे कोइफिशिएंट, कोइफिशिएंट. इस समझने के लिए आपको एक इक्वेशन देता हूँ. जैसे देते हैं 4x square plus 2x minus 6. ये आपको दी गई है. तो क्वेश्चन आपसे पूछा जाएगा कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ विच वेरिएबल कोइफिशिएंट क्या होता है जो ये नंबर होता है बस जो वेरिएबल के साथ होता है इधर कुछ वेरिएबल नहीं है तो ये कोइफिशिएंट नहीं माना जाएगा इसका कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है बोलेंगे कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ x स्क्वायर और x और x क्यूब जो भी हो तो अगर इस क्वेश्चन में बोला होता व्हाट इज द कोइफिशिएंट ऑफ x स्क्वायर क्या होगा 4 होगा आंसर मतलब व्हिच नंबर इज एसोसिएटेड विद दैट सेम वेरिएबल and for x it will be 2 okay and if they're not given anything this agar bas sirf x4 x square plus x minus 6 diya hota so the coefficient of x square kya hai bhai idhar 1 ho sakta hai 3 1 to 1 aur x ka 1 dono ka 1 hoga now let's do this question in exercise 2a in the ncert textbook of cbse 2.1 theek hai so write the degree of each of the following So let's take a question: five x cube plus four x square plus seven x. What did I tell you before? Look at the power of x only. The power of x is highest. Its power is three. So the answer will be three. Next question: four minus y square. Okay. So we look at the answer again. The power of y. Either two. इधर क्या होगा वाई रिस्ट ऑफ जीरो लिख सकता हूं बट इट जीरो एनीवेज सो आंसर विल बी 2 ऑलराइट देन लेट्स डू वन मोर 5t √7 सी डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज्ड विद दिस रूट दिस इज नथिंग ऑल दिस लुक एट द वेरिएबल वेरिएबल मींस अननोन t x y a b c कुछ भी हो सकता है इट्स वन ओवर हियर सो आंसर इज वन All right. Now let's come up to zeros of polynomial.
Okay, before going on to the zero of the polynomial, let's classify the meaning of linear quadratic or cubic. If you have seen the last video, if last video I have seen, I have told you what is linear equation, what is quadratic equation, what is cubic equation. वो लीनियर पॉलिनोमियल के चैप्टर में कवर किया गया है वो चैप्टर ये कॉन्सेप्ट लेकिन तभी बता देता हूँ कोई भी इक्वेशन हो जैसे x square plus x plus two कुछ भी हो तो लीनियर का मतलब होगा जो उसकी डिग्री होगी डिग्री विल ऑलवेज बी वन और लीनियर इधर कौन सी डिग्री आपको क्या बताया था हाईएस्ट पावर इधर टू है तो ये क्या होगा ये तो so quadratic kya kehta hai when the degree is 2 then it is a quadratic cubic aap samajh hi gaye hoge if degree is 3 it will be a cubic equation right so it depends on the degree i told you right now how to find the degree you know check the highest power of the x variable and if it's 1 then it's a linear equation if it's two, then it's a quadratic, and if it's three, then it's cubic, right? Always check the highest power. That is what degree is. Highest power. All right. So now you know what a linear, quadratic, and cubic expressions are. So quickly, you have to find which is cubic, which is quadratic, and which is. So I will just quickly write it, and you can pause the video and try solving these by yourself. All right, so I'll give you, you can pause the video and you can try finding out the degree or you can try finding out if it's a linear, quadratic or cubic equation. All right. Okay, we have to find linear, quadratic or cubic. All right, I'll quickly write the answers. Since this is two, this will be a quadratic. If you've got this correct, well done. Now let's do this. I degree is three. So it'll be a cubic, definitely. Highest degree is 3 here. This will be a cubic. Here, what did I tell you before? You can write this x to the power 0. This is. And in now, very good. We came to this question. Now, if they are not given any variable, right? So you can't tell if this is a linear, quadratic, or cubic polynomial. So what will you say? You will say, not a polynomial. It is just a constant. This will not be anything because this is zero, right? And linear needs to have at least one. So we'll ignore this. Over here it's one, so this will be a linear. Right. I hope you've got this all correct. If you have done, good job. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right. Now let's go on to the important parts of the chapter, which is zeros of the polynomial. Right. So zeros of this polynomial is nothing but a solution. It is the value of the variable. Variable means x, y, z. The value of x, y, z, x equal to one or x equal to two, whatever, which will give me zero, or which will satisfy the polynomial. Right. So if I consider a polynomial, we had a polynomial by p of x because this variable means what variable you're using in the equation. If I'm using x, I'll write p of x. If I use y, I'll write p of y. p is nothing but polynomial. Okay. This is how we write it in mathematics. So if I write 5x cube minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And now, if I keep the value of, let's say, I'm keeping the value of x is equal to 1. So we just replace x by 1 in each. So I will write P of one because I'm putting one over here. I'll get five minus two plus three minus two, which is nothing but four, isn't it? So we say that value of P of X means this full thing at 
x equal 1 because I gave it there is 4. Because I got 4 here. So this is how we do it. This is also called a 0. So can we say, but let's not talk about 0 right now. Let's just talk about the solution. The solution of this polynomial at x equal to 1 is equal to 4. Is that understood? All right. So they will give you if x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 3. But in order to be a 0 of the polynomial, I need to get a 0 over here. I need to get 0 over here. If I get a 0, then only I can say that x equals 1 is a 0 of a polynomial. That's why 0 word is there. But over here, you're not getting a 0. So you, can we call this a 0 of this? A solution? This is not a solution. No, not a 0. But the value, what I'm getting when I'm keeping x is equal to 4. But when I want to get a 0, what will be the answer? That is called 0 of the polynomial. When I get a 0 here, by keeping x as value, koi bhi number akhlo x, 2, 3, jo number is a 0 laigi, x, jo bhi x ki value is a 0 laigi, us wo hai apka answer. Wo hai 0. That is 0 the polynomial. Thik hai? Ab easy se shuru karte hai. Thik hai? P of x diya y is equal to x plus 2. Thik hai? Now, question bola hai, find 0 unit. 0 of p of x. Okay. And option we have given is minus 2 or 2. What is given? This means that this is what we are giving option. x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 2. This is not written but it will be written. So, first we will put p of minus 2. Okay. What will happen? Minus 2 plus 2. 0 is coming. It means this is 0. This is right. First one is right. Now let's put the second one. p of 2. I will get 2 plus 2. I will get 4. Is, is this giving a zero? This is not giving a zero, so this is not a zero. So the correct answer, how will we write it? Therefore, minus two is a zero of p of x equals x plus two. This is your final answer. Zero q because it's giving zero when I put x as value is equal to minus two, I'm getting a zero. That's why. All right. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you must have understood the meaning of zero of the polynomial. Polynomial. आपको समझ आ गया होगा जब zero polynomial कह रहे हैं वो क्या कह रहे हैं, ठीक है? अब हम आते हैं हर question में आपको ये दिया नहीं गया होगा कि x की value दी नहीं गई होगी कि check करो. They will mostly tell you find the zero of polynomial without giving you an answer. All right. Okay. Let's come on the questions. All right. So P of X is given as three X plus one. And they have given us X value is equal to minus one by three. So I just put the value of the X as minus one by three. I will get three into minus one by three plus one. I will get 3 3 cut minus 1 plus 1 I'm getting 0 so therefore I'm getting a 0 it is a 0 of the polynomial okay another one just try it p of x is equal to x square minus 1 and they're given x's value as minus 1 and 1 we got to check both so we put p as minus 1 I will get minus 1 square minus 1 I get 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Because minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to 1. Remember that. When I put p is equal to 1, I get 1 square minus 1. I get 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So both are giving me 0. So therefore, both are the 0 of the polynomials. If I keep x is equal to minus 1, I will get a 0. If I x is equal to 1, I get a 0. So they both are the roots or the zeros of a polynomial. Now, one more thing. The zeros of a polynomial can be also known as the roots Roots and zeros come up same. They mean the same thing. Question can be roots kaya kabi zero jaga. Roots of equation kaya jata hai. The terminology hai bus. Roots of equation or zeros of polynomial. Matla dono ka same hai. Likin wording ala goti depending on the chapter. Tika. Now. 
अगर आपको लग रहा है फास्ट जा रहे हैं कोई क्वेश्चन आपने मिस कर दिया तो आप पॉज करें वीडियो प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड प्लीज गो बैक एंड ट्राई डूइंग बाई योर सेल्फ आई विल बी गिविंग अ फ्यू सेकेंड्स पॉज फॉर यू टू ट्राई योर सेल्फ और राइट एंड एक्स की वैल्यू दी गई है हाफ प्लीज ट्राई करिए क्वेश्चन वीडियो पॉज करिए ये क्वेश्चन में आप ट्राई करिए और बताइए कि जीरो है कि नहीं ठीक है आई कैन आई कैन लुक एट इट इट्स हाफ सो द टू विल गो बट आई डोंट थिंक अ जीरो विल कम बिकॉज़ इट्स प्लस एनीवेज लेट्स सी 2 into half plus 1 i get 1 plus 1 i get 2 this is zero this is not a zero so this is not a zero the polynomial if you have written not a zero so make sure when you get this two you write therefore x equal to half not a zero zero of what zero of p of x equal to 2x plus 1 ye likhna bahut zaruri hai ye statement क्योंकि आपको बता रही है कि x half is not equal to but इस सेम क्वेश्चन में अगर मैं लेता हूं x equal to minus half तो आपको क्या लगता है आएगा कि नहीं आएगा If I take x is equal to minus half in the same one, will I get it? Let's see. Two into minus one by two plus one, minus one plus one. Yes, so I got a zero. So when I keep x is value is equal to half, I get a zero. So this is a zero of the polynomial. All right. So now we have to find the zero again. You can pause the video whenever you want. So I'll give an easy one first. X minus five. This is the first one. Second one, p of x, x plus five. Third one, uh, all right, p of x equals three x. All right. Remember, in all, I should get zero. Whatever I put a value of x, I should get zero. Fourth one, uh. Let's give another one. Let's give a fifteen x minus I don't know fifteen. Uh, yeah, let's give that. Yeah, okay. And then the fifth one. Let's give p of x is equal to three x minus two. Please try these questions. You can pause the video. Get all five answers and find the zero of the polynomial. Which value of x will give me a zero? Please find that out. All right. I hope you have got all of it. Now let's see. This one obviously will be five. If you got five, that's correct. Because five minus five is zero. This will just be the negative version. Negative five of plus five is zero. This will be zero. Because three into zero will always give me zero. Whenever they give you four x, five x, or minus one x, always it will x will be zero. Because anything multiplied by zero gives me zero. Remember that. Okay. Fifteen x. This is pretty easy. This x will be one because fifteen minus fifteen will give me zero. Hey now, fifteen minus fifteen. Three x minus two. Ah, this one must be a bit tricky. So, what value of x should I keep that I will basically what? How do you think about this question? ये जो term है, ये expression है, इसकी two लानी पड़ेगी क्योंकि two minus two zero देता है ना? तो ये जो ये जो है, इसको मैं कैसे two ले आऊँ? है ना? ये होनी चाहिए सोच. So three क्या होगा? If I do into one by three करूँगा, क्या भाव one आता है? ये हमें two चाहिए. तो मतलब ये जो ये जो number है ये टू होना चाहिए क्योंकि थ्री थी तो कट रहा है तो कैन आई राइट इट कैन राइट लाइक दिस थ्री इंटू टू बाई थ्री माइनस टू कीपिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू बाई थ्री इन द लास्ट टू एंड ठीक है तो ये ये कट टू माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई गेट जीरो सो एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू बाई थ्री इज ए जीरो अगर आपने ये सही किया इफ यू वॉट दिस वन करेक्ट देन वेल डन बिकॉज दिस टेस्ट दिस टेस्ट यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल राइट All right. Now we come to the bit more important part of this chapter, which is the remainder theorem and the factor theorem. So let us begin with the remainder theorem. Now, to understand this remainder theorem, let's consider two numbers: fifteen 
and 6. So now if I have to divide 15 divided by 6, what do I get? I will not get a whole number. I get a remainder and I get a quotient. So let's do that. 15 by 6. So can I add this 2 by 12? I get 3. Okay. That means this here is my remainder. And this here is my quotient. But how do I write it on paper? We'll discuss that. So I can write 15 is equal to quotient into divisor. If we get a divisor, we call this a divisor. Note Kalije 6 into 2 quotient into divisor plus remainder 3. So what is the general way of writing? Divisor D click round into quotient Q plus remainder gives me the dividend. Dividend kya hai? Bas, either 15 hai. Isko dividend kya hai by the way. Dividend. Ye bhi note kar lije. So dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Ye concept hum use karengi remainder theorem mein. Isne mein aapko ye bata raho. Thik hai? Now, hum monomial polynomial lete hai. 2x cube plus x square plus x. Kaise ekte mein kubataya tha bhi p of x, we write as p of x. Now to find it, I have to divide it, right? But they are not given another number. So what, what is common in all of them? We see an x here, we see an x here, we see an x here. So can I divide this whole thing, divide symbol by x? Kya hoga? Either ka x, x ka take 2x square, either ka 8x, or either ka 1. Right? So, ye kya hoga amara? This became another factor. Factor, what is factor? Factor into all the other factors gives me number. The number. Number ki factors hote hain, to unko multiply karunga, to number aega. So, I mean, x is, I divide it by x. So if I multiply this by x, will I not get back to this? So can I write 2x cube plus x square plus x is not equal to x times 2x square plus x plus 1? Because this into this will give me this. You know? So this is how we can write that p of x is equal to this into this. So we say that these are the factors of P of X. This is also a factor. This is P of X. The factors hai, these are the factors. All right. So now you understand what the factors of a polynomial can be. So this is a multiple of this. Okay. It's a multiple of X as well as a multiple of this. Now let's consider another one for understanding purposes. 3x square plus x plus 1. Now same thing, if I divide by x again, p of x, what will I get? 3x square divided by x plus x divided by x plus 1 divided by x. I took each term here, each term here, each term here. I'll get 3x plus 1. Okay. And over here, it's plus x over there. Right. So how can I write this? I can write this into x plus 1. Plus 1 by x. All right. So another way of writing this, same thing I'm writing, the same thing. 3x plus 1 into x. Plus one. Is this not correct? This into this 3x square, this into this plus x, either one here plus one. Did not get the same thing. I got the same thing. So this is the correct way of writing it. So I wrote it like this. Okay. Now this is your quotient. 
all right and this my friend is the remainder ठीक है but ये x नहीं होगा this x will not be a factor in this case why because when I divided this not everything was smoothly cut 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 इधर वन बाय एक्स बच गया था। I did not get a zero। तो ये फैक्टर कह नहीं सकते। फैक्टर जो होता है, जो रिमेंडर जीरो देता है। इधर रिमेंडर क्या आया? वन आया ना रिमेंडर। मैंने डिवाइड बाय एक्स। अगर जीरो आता, जैसे प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन में जीरो आया था, इसलिए हमने कहा फैक्टर। बट इधर एक्स फैक्टर नहीं है Method. Please note this down. This is a very important question. So we get p of x is 3x squared plus x minus 1 and g of x. Ye g kya hota hai? g is basically the term jo expression in the say x plus 2 or x plus 1. Aise diya jayega. Jo is pe divide karenge. Dekhna hai ki hame factor ki nahi. Aur kab factor hoga? Factor hoga. जब रिमेंडर आपका इक्वल टू जीरो है, then it's a factor. अगर रिमेंडर इक्वल जीरो नहीं है, तो फैक्टर नहीं ही है, ठीक है? ये चेक करना है कि जी ऑफ़ एक्स फैक्टर है। ये ऐसे लिखा जाता है मैथ्स में जी ऑफ़ एक्स, मैथमैटिक वेस्ट के जो हमें डिवाइड करना है, ठीक है? ये ये एक्स प्लस वन। तो लॉन्ग डिवीजन the divisor like like you do normal it's just like normal division but a little tweaks are there so you write the divisor there and then you copy this down in the middle 3x squared plus x minus 1 now you take the first term with this term so 3x squared divided by x 3x so what matter of this will give me 3x so you just write this on the top 3x and then you multiply it you get 3x squared now वन से मल्टीप्लाई करिए, यू गेट प्लस थ्री एक्स, एंड नाउ माइनस से, सो माइनस इधर आएगा साइन, माइनस चेंज हो गया ना मैंने चेंज साइन तो माइनस करूँगा, तो ये प्लस था, तो ये कट गया, और ये क्या बचा? माइनस टू एक्स, नाउ यू जस्ट ब्रिंग दिस डाउन, जस्ट लाइक नॉर्मल डिवीजन, सेम थिंग, अब ये जो ठीक है, so minus two x minus two sign बदल दो, इधर plus कर दो, इधर plus कर दो, basically sign बदलना है, जब minus हो जाए तो ये कटेगा, क्या इधर one बचेगा, है ना one, तो ये आपका हो गया remainder, ठीक है, अब हम कैसे लिखेंगे इसको same को, आपके पास ये आ गया ये आपका आ गया क्वेश्चन, ये आपका आ गया रिमेंडर, और ये था आपका डिविजर। नाउ हाउ कैन वी राइट दिस सेम पॉलिनोमियल? वी कैन राइट, आप क्या बताया था मैंने डिविडेंड, ये नोट कर लीजिए फिर से, जस्ट नोट दिस डाउन, व्हाट आई टोल्ड बिफोर, इट इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट, इज इक्वल डिविजर इनटू Right, plus the remainder. So let's write the previous question. 3x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 into 3x plus 2 plus 1. If you remember this, this was the divisor, this was the quotient, and this is your remainder. If you see in this, this was your quotient, this was your divisor, and this was your fellow remainder. Right? So, same concept I've employed here. And this is how we write. And this is how we do the long division method. 
let's try another one the question is divide the polynomial 3x4 minus 4x cube minus 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 so again draw this right in the middle right x minus 1 so take the first term jo ye jo first term hai aur iska first term 3x4 by x kya bacha 3x cube aaya so upar 3x cube likh do 3x4 मल्टीप्लाई करना है हमेशा जो ऊपर लिख रहा है इसे मल्टीप्लाई करना और फिर नीचे लिखना देन राइट इट डाउन नाउ माइनस वन इन टू दिस माइनस थ्री एक्स क्यूब जस्ट चेंज द साइन प्लस चेंज द साइन जस्ट चेंज दिस साइन द सेकेंड साइन सो आई गेट माइनस एक्स क्यूब हि ओके नाउ माइनस एक्स क्यूब बाय एक्स minus x square so this will give me minus x square minus x cube and remember to bring this down okay plus x square now you have come to a situation where this is 1 and this is 2 so what you do don't get don't panic just write it the way it is just change the sign first this is cut you get minus x square right Either this was minus itself, so minus three x, and just relax and just bring this minus one down. Okay, now repeat the same process. X square minus x, you get minus x again. So you just write minus x. So just multiply, relax, and multiply plus x. You minus कर देना. So minus four x minus one. Again minus four x by x. You will do. You get minus four. So you write minus four, and they will all cut. I presume. No, they're not cut. Right. And I think the remainder you will get is you'll put this minus. You get minus five the remainder. All right. So let me just write this in the next slide. On the top, you got the quotient as three x cube minus x square minus x minus four. You got the remainder is equal to minus five, and your divisor itself was equal to they've given x minus one. So how can we write it? So now it is remainder. So we will write this. So therefore, we can conclude x minus one is not a factor of the of p of x, as we just saw. in this question we should get a remainder equal to 0 for it to be a factor but we just learned the long division method make sure you practice this method again and again and again and again to make it the best now this is another technique i'm telling for you to further understand your knowledge So when they have just given x cube plus one, or they have given x square plus one, and they're not given any other degree of x, so what you do, you can also write this as x cube plus zero into x square plus zero into x plus what? Why am I writing zero? Because anything into zero gives zero, and zero will not affect anything. So you'll get the same thing back. Okay. So if I write like this, it'll be easier for you to for you to solve the questions. There is no scope of getting confused. Again, first term, first term, x cube by x, x square. I write x square at the top and I bring it down. Or if the one here is multiplied, करो तो plus x square. Minus 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 minus. You get minus one x square. Bring that down. So zero x. First term, first term, minus x square by x, minus x, minus x. So minus x square, minus x. Please do it by yourself. 
what do I get? I get just x. Is a plus one. Again, x divided by x. One plus one. I will get x plus one and zero. So x plus one is a factor, and I got this. See why I put zero? Because then over here, this whole process goes smoothly. You can quickly do zero x. You can bring it down, and step by step you can solve it. So you can all this do this. We, if we are given three, so you go with two and one and then zero. Okay. So always if we go like this, it'll be easy to solve it. Right now we have now we have since you've learned the long division method, let's go on to the important part, the remainder theorem. You cannot learn the remainder theorem without knowing what the method is. Right. So when they tell you to find the rem the question will be find the remainder of this p of x. So they, when they'll give me x4 plus x cube minus 2x square plus x plus 1, when it is divided by or g of x, g of x is nothing but divide division by x minus 1. So what I'll do is I will equate this to 0 first. This is one step. Learn this step. I will equate it to 0 and I will keep x is equal to 1. Now, why equated zero? Because is, we need to check this is zero of the polynomial. If it is zero of the polynomial, it will definitely be a factor. So we get zero as a remainder, right? So let's put x as value equal to one. We learned this in the first few slides and how to do this method. So wait, what have I taught you all that in the start of the video was so you can apply it in the theorem. To understand the theorem, you need to know all of that. So in your class, if they straight away going to the remainder theorem, they straight away going to the long division method, you may get a bit confused. But by these videos, you learn the very basics and the roots of the chapter, and then you can apply it. So when I put one raised to the power of four plus one raised to the power of cube minus two into one raised to the power of square plus one plus one, I get one plus one minus two plus two, I get two. So this is your remainder. And no, that is not a factor of this equation, but they only asked us to find the remainder. So this, what do you mean by remainder theorem? Find the remainder of this. That's the, the question. And this is how you find the remainder. They'll give you this. So you just need to put it as zero, get this, put it in each x, put it in each x, 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 and then get the remainder. Right? Let's do another one. Okay, another way of framing these types of question is, check if this polynomial is a multiple of that okay now they have given us some other variable they're not given us t so what variable they've given you to put that 4t cube plus 4t squared minus t minus 1 we need to check if this is a multiple of 2t plus 1 all right so how will this be a multiple if the remainder if i get is equal to 0 then it will be a multiple, then it will be a factor. So what's the first time, what did I tell you? 2t plus one equals zero. 2t equal minus one, t equal minus one by two. All right, now just simply put t's value here. This is so simple. So p of minus one by two is four into minus one by two cube plus four into minus one by two square minus plus one by two because minus minus oh yeah minus one so i will get four into minus one by eight plus four into one by four minus half you can do this by yourself all right and i think you will get two if i'm not wrong Oh, and there's a minus one here. I didn't see that minus one. So when I put that minus one, I will get zero, right? So as you can see, the remainder coming here is zero. So therefore this, yes, this is a multiple. This is a multiple, this is a factor. This is a zero of the polynomial, this. So this is how a quick way of solving the question. Is this a multiple? Is this a is this a factor? Can you check if this divides it completely? This is how we find the answer to this question by the remainder theorem. This 
this whole process is just termed as remainder theorem but you all know the easy way method out all right but sometimes they will not always give you the g of x which is the number to be divided the expression to be divided all right zone question all right check whether 7 plus 3x is a factor of 3x cube plus 7x all right so what we have to do is we just again have to equate it to zero so i will write 3x plus 7 equals zero 3x is equal to minus 7 x is equal to minus 7 by 3 and i will just put it in the equation 3 into minus 7 by 3 whole cube plus 7 into minus 7 by 3 So when you find the cube root, you can find it in your calculator. You can just, uh, if you know it, very well, well done. But if you don't, learn it. So I get minus 343 by 9 minus 49 by 3. So to find the LCM, so I need to do 49 into 3. And then you can straight away find All right. So when I find the LCM, I think it'll come 147. Yes, it'll come 147. 343 minus 147 by 3 all right and then obviously this won't come to zero so this is not a factor but you can still find the answer if you want all right so you get minus 490 by 3 right this is not zero so this is not a factor to get a factor you need the remainder to be equal to zero to get a multiple you need the remainder to be equal to zero and use the remainder theorem to find if it's zero or not. All right.